Today on Brett Lab, is drinking caffeine good or bad for you? Now, I absolutely adore coffee. I really don't feel like my day has started until I've had a cup. I'm hardly alone. Here in the UK, we drink 70 million cups of the stuff every day. We also get a good kick of caffeine from things like energy drinks. But what is caffeine actually doing to you? And how much is too much? At the moment, European guidelines advise that consuming 400 milligrams of caffeine, which is about three to four cups of coffee a day, shouldn't cause any problems, as long as you're not pregnant. But the amount people can tolerate depends on other factors such as age, weight, your personal genetics and how much caffeine you've been consuming recently. So how much caffeine is there in different drinks? You might be surprised by our study. We found, for example, that tea has over 50 milligrams per cup, while Coca-Cola has just 31.4 milligrams. Energy drinks, on the other hand, ranged anywhere between 75 milligrams to over 200 milligrams. A large Starbucks latte had over 160 milligrams. So what does drinking caffeine actually do to you? Well, one of the things it does is it blocks the actions of chemical called adenosine, which tells you when to go to sleep. So drinking coffee keeps you awake. Unfortunately, what it doesn't really do is make you more alert because over time you just get used to it. What it definitely does do, however, is boost your levels of adrenaline, which makes your blood pressure go up, heart rate go faster, more blood to your muscles, and basically gives you that boost first thing in the morning when you need it. Caffeine speeds up your heart rate and increases your blood pressure. And in some circumstances, it can cause abnormal heart rhythms. Now, overstimulation could certainly be bad for those who have high blood pressure already. And if you really feel the physical effects of caffeine, perhaps you should think about cutting back. Although caffeine is probably not very good for us, coffee may well be. And that's because whether it is caffeinated or decaffeinated, it's very rich in something called polyphenols, linked with reduced risk of heart disease, dementia and stroke. Now, in a jug of coffee, there are more polyphenols than you would find in most vegetables. And in fact, in long-term studies, they found that coffee drinkers, those drinking three or four cups a day, live longer than those who don't. The health benefits of coffee depend on how it's brewed. Filter coffee is best, especially lighter roast. But critically, it also depends on whether you drink it with lots of cream and sugar. Why not share your coffee stories in the comment section below? And if you'd like weekly updates, tips and ideas, then do subscribe to BritLab.